Hi guys! Hello there! And welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Lee. And today's episode, we're going to be doing something fun. Um, I think I'm going to be doing a wrecked ring. The king of the wrecked ring is back. <laughs> yes, you are going to be doing yes, a wrecked ring. Yes, and what are you going to be doing? I'm going to do a straight pour. A straight pour? Yeah. Um, so, we're going to be using the colours in today's episode. Yes. That you're going to see us use again in about three or four weeks' time. Yeah, that's right. Why? Well, we have something that's coming up. Um, it's for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Yes. We are doing a, a couple of paintings so that way they can be auctioned off. So excited. So excited about this, you guys. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we're going to be using those colors to also for that pour. Excellent. And we've yes. just done it now because we want to let it dry. Yeah. Then we want to finish the pieces and show you them exactly around the same time that the auction happens, which is the first week in August. Exactly. So yeah, we were we actually reached out and said that we would love to donate because we saw Mina. Yeah. That she, and she did her episode and and they graciously accepted and we we're going to send them two pieces. So yeah, yeah. super excited. Yeah, really excited mm -hmm. about that. So a ring pour again, and I'm going to do a straight pour. Yes. And uh, like we said, using the same colors uh, for the Make-A-Wish Foundation in a couple of weeks. Excellent. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. Yeah, me too. Let's get to porn. Let's get to the table. All right, everyone. It is Jeremy here. I'm really excited about this, um, this pour, these colors. Uh, I am going to be doing a... Correct ring. Correct ring today. And these are these are really beautiful colors. Just to let you guys know that we have used these colors very recently, and these are leftovers from the colors we've just used. You'll see this in a pour in about three or four weeks' time. Yes. So, would you like to introduce the colors? I would like to introduce the colors and also my canvas. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the colors that we're using today are. Golden's Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. Love it. Love. And I have mixed a little bit of champagne in with that color. Oh, wow. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got the Golden's uh, Phalo Green. We have Golden's Phalo Blue. All the Phalos. I know. We have Amsterdam's uh, Pearl White. First time using it, I'm excited for this. I know, me too. Um, one of my favorites, the Arteza Pearl Pistachio Green. We have the Dioxazine Purple by Goldens. Love it. And to that, I added a little bit of the Pearl, by the way. So it's oh, got nice. a yeah, really lovely, like lighter, lighter color. color. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought so. Um, and also we have Goldens Green Gold. And last but not least, we have the Deco Arts Metallic Champagne Gold. Love it. It's beautiful. I love that. It's a real soft gold. It's it very is. pretty. It is. Um, okay, so I have a 14 by 18 gallery wrapped canvas. It is pinned and backed. And we've never done 14 by 18s before. We've never done 14 it's by 18 It's a really 18s. nice size it's, canvas. It's a great size canvas, right? I think. It's, it's the perfect size to go in a little, like, nice little area right like it's yeah it's just a, the right size i love it um so i'm gonna go ahead and get to layering my cup you guys blue blue that's the phalo uh, this is the phalo blue and then next i'm gonna be scandalous i don't think it's that scandalous Oh, maybe Oops. it is now you put quite Sorry. so much of it in. I didn't mean to pour that. <laughs> it's so funny you did exactly the same thing in the last pour. I know I did. Yeah. I totally did. Um, the reason why it might not be so scandalous is that these pearl Arteza colors dry very, very light. They do dry very, very light. So it's not like it's going to be green and blue. Yeah, exactly. I think I'm going to go with the little bit of this. That's the Quinacridone Nickel Azole Gold with a little bit of Champagne Gold mixed in. Yes. Then I'm going to do the Champagne Gold. Ooh, Champagne Champagne. That's a double Champagne. 
Wow. Yeah, I'm doing a nice lot. healthy layer. Yeah, you really did. Love that. Purple. Now we're going to go back in with, oh, and some green. Phthalo green. Phthalo green. Wonderful. And then I'm going to go in with the purple again, just a little bit. Stunning. And then you repeating your layers? I'm going to. I think I'm going to definitely. You need to fill that cup, sir. That's for sure. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. Blue. Pistachio. Then I went. Purple. Purple. Didn't I just do a layer of purple? You can mix the layers up. That is allowed. So purple there. Then I go in with the white. Then the orange. Quinacridone nickel azul gold. I I then the champagne. The champagne. Mm-hmm. And then the green gold. And the green. If you can fit it. Oh, I'll fit it. I will get this in here. Ta-da! Lovely job. Thank you. It's a nice little cup there. It's a very full cup. It, it didn't is. quite overflow it, but it's almost dead. Overflow it? <laughs> All right. So... Now I'm going to pour my ring pour in here, then I'm going to put my flow extender around that, torch it off. Okay. And then it's tilting time Let's after that. do it. Okay, get this ring on this canvas, big boy. Yes. Lovely rings. And a 8 out of 10 on the dismount. Yeah, and you know what? I realize what I'm doing wrong on the dismounts. So, I'm going to fix that next time. Okay, I liked it. Yes. Now, flow extender, then I'm going to wreck it and Total. torch it. everyone so I just torched my canvas I flooded it I got my rings on here um, I'm going to wreck it today with a chopstick that I have that love I'm just in the love with um, and I'm going to loop the loop wreck okay so let's see here Love it. That was a good wreck. Yeah, that was one of my favorite wrecks of all time. All right, everyone. So I just loop-de-loop -loop wrecked my rings. So now it is time for... Tilt-in time. 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 Do it. You know what? I think I'm going to go this way with it first. Okay. Another hero Standing by the bed as I wake up
shadow figure in the dark Second I appear All bets are off my dear Just because I can't go back And all the hate I feel Becoming all so real In the center of my mind Standing frail and blue Not knowing what to do Has my time in here run out? Another hero Standing by the bed as I wake up Okay, everyone, I'm in love with what's happening here. There's some cells popping up. I'm loving the lines in this. I'm loving this purple right mm -hmm. here. I'm loving the blue. Mm -hmm. um, I think it really came out really, really well. Uh, I'm going to get my edges yeah. and uh, take you guys in for a close-up after I torch it. Let's do it. Oh, I ladles and jelly spoons, it is Lee. Wow, Jeremy, I really loved that ring pour. Thank you. I mean, there's never a ring pour that you've done that I've never liked, but the wrecking on that one was just amazing. Well done. Um, 18 by 14 inch gallery wrapped canvas and I'm gonna straight pour, but I'm gonna dirty pour my cup. So I'm gonna, sorry, dirty layer of my cup and then straight pour it onto the canvas. That is my plan. Let's do this. I was thinking about it, thinking about whether I should lay it dirty or not, <laughs> but I'm going to. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a lovely puddle of the pearl, because I've got a lot of very dark colors, and so I really want the pearl to help me lighten up this pour. Okay, so next, let's put in some quinacridone. No, this is the dioxazine. Yes. I'm sorry. Then let's put in some of the quinacridone. Nicolas Gold. Some of this wonderful phalo blue. Next some phalo green. And you're pouring it really high up so that way the paint pierces through the other colors, correct? Absolutely, yeah, and, and mixes so that I don't just have a layer and layer. But I'm using the pearl and the champagne fairly sparingly. Other colors I'm doing some nice thick layers of. I really love that orange. I do too. Okay. In with the phalo green. Now that is it. That is my layered cup. Now that is what we call a dirty pour. Yes. Now let's get this one on the canvas. So I'm gonna straight pour this onto the canvas with my dirty layered cup. 
Are you ready? I am ready. Oh, that came out really cool. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. Now on camera, it looks a little dark, but that's okay, because we've got a lot of phalos and dark colors in here. But as I stretch this one out, I feel like we're gonna have a lot of wonderful colors underneath. Now, I'm just gonna do one thing. I'm gonna pour one tiny layer of the champagne just around the edge of the pour. And then I'm gonna add my flow extender. Hmm. All right, peeps, so, Circle of champagne, flow extender, torched. Now it is tilting time. Tilting time. Let's do this. If I could hear my father's voice, he would tell me to move on. He would say I'll be just fine. Yeah. Tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal Our favorite song is on repeat Drinking wine until the dawn Knowing soon we'll be back home
So there you have it, folks. Um, wow, this one was really interesting. Um, I love how every single part of this has all these cells popping up. If it's the phalo here in the phalo blue, the phalo green in the phalo blue, or the champagne in the pearl, or we've even got like the phalo blue here in this kind of green section. It's really pretty. Um, I think you'll see more of this as I take you in for the close-up. But this was a really interesting, dirty, layered, straight pour. And um, I'm not mad about it. I actually really like this one. So I'm going to get my edges and then we're going to take you guys in for a close-up. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. Yes. Um, I really enjoyed these pours. Did you, did you yeah. like wrecking your rings, sir? I do. I really love doing that whole like loop-de-loop -loop kind of wreck now. I love the loop-de-loop -loop more than yeah. I love the comb just because you get more movement in it. Now, let's be honest. Yes. There was a point off camera where you were saying that you weren't sure whether you were loving it or not, but I know at the end you did. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, well, whenever I was tilting it out and I was kind of, you know, watching the colors and everything, um, you know, I just had a moment where I was kind of a little bit, you know, questioning it and right. wondering if I should like pour a little bit more on it or, right. you know, or that kind of thing, change the composition a little bit. Um, but in the end, I absolutely fell in love with it. Right. And, um, and I have the dried results to show you. You do. So yeah. it was like as you opened it up and as you got those yeah, lines and the absolutely. on there. Yeah, no, yeah. I really love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh, Take it away. Show the people to come. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. So it kind of has a little bit of a glare on it. That's the gloss That's medium. That's the gloss folks. medium, folks. Right. Yeah. I do love so. this one. I think that you got you got some really great blocks of color. I, you can really see the palette on here. Yeah. And mm. I love your loop de loop rack, which yes. you can still see. Yes. I think you also thought you were tilting all the rings off, but actually you I did. I, I got really nervous that I was tilting all the rings off, but uh Stand close to me. <laughs> he keeps wanting to like walk off camera. And, like, you know, I don't buy it. Unless you want me to. <laughs> so silly um yeah so i did I, I got a little nervous i thought some of the rings were going off right. a little bit too much right. but after after like working with it and seeing you it, liked it i do i really love it let me show you mine so um yeah this was this was fun um i i liked that kind of quinacridone orange center mm. there's a lot of really dark and moody parts of this this one looks like stormy seas to me it's like all the cloud and then like the dark waters and um I, I, yeah I, I this was not my most successful straight pour um, i've definitely done better straight pours um i don't always love doing a dirty layer and a straight pour but um, I don't hate how this one came out at all. And as you can see, that shine from the gloss medium on the hair is really pretty. But um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this one. I wanted to test pouring into a pearl white base. Yes. And that's, and that's what I did. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was really fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So what's happening this week? Well, on Friday, we got another premiere that's gonna be happening. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be doing our regular you know, viewing, viewing um, which will be fun. On Saturday the 10th, we've got the dudes who are pouring, yeah. or pouring with the fellas, yes. or the all-male review, however you want to call it. All-male review. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, that's going to be on Saturday. You've got some really awesome people yeah. all pouring. We're going to premiere and back to back to back. Yeah. More information on that one to follow. And then on Sunday, it's my birthday. Well, I was going to say that. Uh-huh. Well, and what are we doing? Um, well, I can't tell you that. Okay. I can't tell you that. It's a surprise. We're going to be doing something really amazing for his birthday. It is. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Yes. Yes. So please come back for that. It's something we've not done on the channel before. Yes. And it's something that we're going to be jerry-rigging our garage up to do. So yes. more about that later on in the week. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's gonna Sunday is gonna be a lot of fun. We'll see. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I'm gonna let you go here. So it was nice like having everybody here with us on the premiere, and we will see you on Friday. We'll see you Friday, everyone. Have a good week. Bye guys. Bye. I wanna take a moment to spank spank. <laughs> <laughs> Spank some very special people. <laughs> we want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So there are some people that we would very much like to thank, and that's our Massey Posse. Or yes. the MPs, as we like to call them. So at the gold level, we've got Mary Doulas. We've got Amy Gardner, a.k.a. Crafty Chicken Mom. Crafty Chicken Mom. We've got Linda Serian. We have Nate Bright. Gloria Salicki, who we like to call Glitzy. We've got Terry Leshner. We've got Donna Patterson. Stephanie Hancock. And Trisha West. Now, at the Platinum level, we have Donna Panis, we have Janice and Steve Pittman, and we have Leslie Beaver. And at our Diamond level, our one and only, you all know her, you will all love her, we do too, <laughs> it is Sparkles. Sparkles. Laurie Finzer is our Diamond Pourer. So to all you guys and everyone else that's listed down below, thank you so very much. We really do genuinely appreciate you wanting to be a Patreon and a Massey Pora. And uh, yeah, we look forward to sharing more of this journey with you all. Thank you guys. Thanks guys.